Checking, checking. One, two, three. That's actually quite good. Okay, let's go. Hi, my name is Qua. <laughs> I can't speak. <coughs> Let me redo that. Hi, my name is Squishy British, and welcome back to Frambo. <laughs> I was thinking about doing a watercolor stream, and and then I didn't. <laughs> we're we're back with this. Um, so let's go. Come on, Fran. Let's go, I'm waiting for you. Yeah. Oh dear. This bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran. Come on. We have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um. I can go first, all right? Then you follow. All right, kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. <coughs> I don't know why I've got coughs all of a sudden. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. I got you. Fran, no. Be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will ri always rise. Oh dear, Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You're going to leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will understand soon. Aunt Grace, no, don't go. Please, please. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. A kitty cat. <coughs> and a cat and a cat and a cat. One of Fran's shoes. Fran's shoe. These are Fran's stockings. Ah, oh, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran, my darling? Is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would it be? Fran, you are a tree. 
don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear. You've turned into a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear. This is the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he doesn't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. The night Mum and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. <laughs> Hold on. Give me, give, give me a sec. I'm gonna get my glasses on because I'm feeling eye strain already. Home ka igni mi kula. The last time I remember reading this, I felt so funny. <coughs> there we go. That feels better. Ooh. And I'm knocking the microphone. Ah. ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hola, koliki, hola. Stop it! I'll scratch you. Hula, Muni Ikani. What did they say? Oh, my kitty, what is happening to us? Hula. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hula, Ikani, Fati. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fern. This way! <coughs> I see my friend's purse. Niki Haku Ah Muna Piske Uta Huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. 
Galopa, Galopa. Item Bao Naka Kis Bear Sea Sea Loga Irash Woo Item Goska Item Yo Frilo Goska Sea Welcome, creature. My name is Ya. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Ryd told me that you showed him an illustration. With four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. Ho 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 ho! No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of truth. Very common of the bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You're the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protect for upgrades. Interesting. Can you see all that in a seed? Be quiet! <laughs> I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, friend. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me though? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You don't know when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. I still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? <laughs> you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of... Insta. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need to go home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. 
There are many reasons, sir. The most important is my aunt. She'll protect me. I want to feel like somebody cares about me. I'm confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's up to you to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this island. Yes, yes, sir. That would be really great. I am afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But your not but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I'm saying, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand me? Understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one of the fruits for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrance and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about it. You'll do fine, kitty. And so, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Well, it depends on the height. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do with me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Yoink. <coughs> it is the dragon. I'm trying to think what voice I gave him last time. Good day. My name is Palat Palantris? Palantris, and I'm your doctor today, humbly at your servers. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a beautiful, f fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. <coughs> Here we are. Wow. This place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could stay here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Velasquez created it. 
It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. So when do I get my arms and legs back? Oh, right. Ye wait until the waterproof rise the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. I don't know why, but I have to do like a shimmy. Alright, hmm. So who is this Velasquez? Thank you for whatever that was. I wasn't able to see it. <laughs> but thank you. Alright. Hmm. So who is this Velasquez? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, it was his heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Ursa, and his blood made this water pink. That's why it's so pure. It's a very long story. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you're here? What brought you to Ista? My king and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that followed me did this. He broke the bridge. He wanted me dead. He would like to see you dead. That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, sir, doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being fried. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories. This is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow. But, but, Patronus? Palo, Patronus? It's not a Patronus. Palatron. Pa Palantras? Palantras? We'll just call him Pal. He's a good pal. <laughs> Sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you traveled to Ista, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this o door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who wishes to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take the voice that I'm doing for him seriously. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl. You're so nice. And you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special. But let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Hmm. Yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, gave Fran her arms and legs. Hallelujah. 
How do you feel, friend? Fran from Instituta? Wow, I feel great. Like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix you. Fix it. I'm turning the sentences into my own words. <coughs> this water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mummy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping. You're the best doctor I've ever had. And you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dean, but he was an evil old man. Old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Yep. Uh, this game is so dark. <laughs> Here we are again. So, Ziga, Ziga, that the king was a nice Istashian you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You'll have to meet my kitty someday. That'd be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Off we go. You fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? <laughs> Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great Stasian you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Palatras will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard? Yes, the great wizard is the only one who can bring your human body back. And he has the stones to open the door that would lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? The land... This land is full of things I don't understand. <laughs> you haven't even been outside this castle. And you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The Great Wizard lives upon the Great Mount Crotter. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's a uh, very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most important task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain you mentioned? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great Estazine day and good luck finding the wizard. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Palatronis, he fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyway. We have to find the 
Was it? Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mount Cotrin. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. My god. <coughs> the amount of talking I have to do for this game. No, no. You can't get in. It's closed. Sorry, I just wanted to see what's in this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, and it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palatronus? Yes, that's me. Palatronus gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes. But why is the library closer? Well, that's logical. As the sun goes around the second moon on Elster, we open. Only then we will, will the real knowledge be learned. And that only happens in fall or winter. Oh, so you don't learn anything when it, while it's summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in Ister. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Oh. <sighs> Okay, we're doing good. And we can't read that. Perfect. Hello, sir. You a guard? Yes. Oh, I see. Do you know where Mount Kodrum is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Hmm. Cotrim is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Hmm. Of course. Winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go. Oh, but how? Ah, sorry, but I'm no good at ex explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things. I think he tried with me before. Alright. Thank you, sir. Fish. Hey, still. Gonna stay with me for a bit. Mm. My dog's just come in. Clock. Okay, it's left to the right. To the window. To the wall. Hello. Good day, living creature. Oh, good. Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Hmm? Are you waiting for someone? I'm... I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? They're a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what... I'll do with the lemons. But customers at the bar, you know. And we put some other stuff inside too, so we can fly. Fly? Wow, I'd like to try that. It sounds great. Yes, that's why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar is open in full and a very and a very awesome dancer will perform. Should come and hang out. 
Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. I'm getting so much information. Hi. Oh wow, what are you? You look like fairies in my book. The purest of feelings. The light of all materials. We are Valakas. Oh, you're very shiny. And you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature. One of the young Velascas is going to receive the shield. A baby grow got back there. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh? Where are you going? We continue our path to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. So, or miss, hmm, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You're full of magic yourself. But I want to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents. And what is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back on you. You are too fragile to face the truth now, but too strong to let it go. But don't be sad, dear. We have to keep going. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Up I go again. Boom. Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. Okay, hold on. Back to the proper beginning now, this way. Yeah, here we go. Coconut. Hello. Ah, who's that? Who? Me, Fran. Can't you see me? Oh, no. Now I see. A little. You have four eyes. Wow. They are poo. I know they are poo. <laughs> From far away, they look like coconuts. But I know they're just like dung poo because it's the dung beetle. Four eyes. I I don't have a. What are you selling? Only the very best, best plobas of the Thailand. Do you want to sell it? See, they sure they look like coconuts. I'm just remembering one of the lines. <laughs> it's poo, Miss Poo, that I collect. They're not coconuts. Poo, like in the toilet. Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poop. Bad? Why, it's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. <laughs> I have to get going now. Good luck with the plobus. Bye. Greetings. Are you interested in fabric and thread? I have some. Out of curiosity, miss, for what purpose do you use red fabric? Everybody is naked. Well, whatever you need it for. We also have thread for making other things. Hmm. I have to go, miss. Have a nice day. Bye. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruta, and I'm molding this piece of iron. Oh, what for? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, I see. So you make all kind of, kinds of metallic stuff. Sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them. And, Padam, I'll do it. 
That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my service, you know where I am. I'm running out of voices. And my actual voice is also running out. <laughs> Hello, miss. I have... I think you have beautiful fruit. Thank you, my dear. Would you like some? Oh no, I'm on a mission to return home and I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so what part of Estesa are you from? Is it outside the island? No, I'm not from Estesa at all. I'm human. Oh, human. That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See you. Is the Oh, the snail's there! The snail! Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read just this. Um, what is this Tosian language called? Don't you know? It's this dish, yes. Are you a tourist? Hey. Yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist here before. And I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to his sister. I hope you have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. We're doing the clock maker last. Yeah. Yeah, finally. Fruit. Hello, little root. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. You're cute too. I'm Fran, and you are? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Soma. And I want to sing all day long. What's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one and two. One and two. Three are five, and three and five are eight. And I don't remember any more than that. I learned that at school, it's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I've seen flying boats, sir. How do they work? Think about them floating on water. But instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. And can I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Sadly, these boats only work for us easier. I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Rude. Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see any meaning in the meaningless. Huh? What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one gold coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? The game is about to gim. You are the Kamalas. I am the Volkas. Black and white are shadows and light. Is this a sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse ourselves in this adventure. You against me. I'll give you a coin if you win, eh? What do you say? Yeah, sure. What are the rules? First place to... First place to three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Oh, sure. It sounds like a game we used to play at school called Tic Tac Toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around for a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Now we're gonna play this for about f five minutes.
easy. How many have I got so far? Is that three? Is this the fourth one? It wasn't that easy the last time I remember. I mean, it doesn't tell me! I can't remember how many I have! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Do I have five? Did you count? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Do I need more? No? I'm good? <laughs> we can go. I, oh, I have more than five? Do I have six? Do they do six on accident? I didn't count properly. Yeah. I'm going to the clock. I'm going, go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what voice I did for him. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm. Working on my clock. Oh, I see, sir. Do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I make clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Hmm. And do you know where Mount Kotrim is? Mount Kotrim only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be on Mount Kotrim. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is infinitely <laughs> layered reality. <laughs> layered reality that sounds great what should i do then go to the big clock and change the season just change it where is the clock well go towards the castle but turn left when you see the stairs you'll find a big clock on the tree good luck but i already saw that clock and it was broken see doing things pre works it works <laughs> A broken clock? What a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you, I have to go home. I never fix the clock for nothing, otherwise my life time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big cold gold coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. Here. A gold coin! Ha ha! <laughs> Oh yes, but you have to offer me the job first, alright? Do it and be polite. Oh, Sir Clockmaker, would you f like to fix my clock? An in, in exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of, er, uh, time? I beg of you to accept my office. offer. What is with my words today? 
I just, I can't speak. Okay, I've had water. <sighs> okay. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. He is so little and spindly. No, thank you. Okay. Hmm. You were right. The clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course. Just a second. Oh. Oh. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Oh, there. What is it? It seems somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? now. I mean, somebody broke it. It's a morsel. Breaking a defenseless clock? Why would somebody break it? Kamala's winter, Mount Contrum, the stones. Many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamala's, the evil darkness, the work for Remo, the terrible black, and Kamala's are the only ones allowed in this land, the only evil we have around here. Every single time I see Kamala's, I just think of a koala, just like a shadow, a shadow koala. <laughs> It wouldn't surprise me, Remo wants the stones, but what I don't understand is, for what purpose those stones are meaningless to him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is Remo a giant black monster with a goat mask and a, and a dead goat, a dead goat mask? Yes, you know him? Yes, I think it's because of him that I'm in this land. I'm human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Ah, that is why you need to go to Winter Time and go to Mount Country. Yes, exactly. I have to go talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. Koalas are? How are they poisonous? They can change seasons now. Cogwine! Alright, Mr. Cogwine. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Okay, let's get to it. Let's go through all the seasons. But, like, step by step. Oh, I forgot the fishing! Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot the fishing rod. Pick the fishing rod up. There we go. Okay, now let's go. Off we go. Oh, 
Oh, Fran, this is where we were before. I fixed the bridge to get you your purse. Wow, Kitty, you're very clever. Clever. I hope we find my things. There you go. Kitty, I can't find my pills. Maybe the pills aren't here. Maybe you lost them. Well, they weren't doing me any good anyway. Maybe they'll reappear someday. Let's keep going for now. Got my clothes. Let's go. Oh, the little scurry. <laughs> that was cute. Fran, I have the one thing you desire. I have what you are looking for. Mommy? Is that you, Mommy? My beloved daughter, come closer. Let me feel you. Mommy, I'm scared. There is nothing to be afraid of. You have to come closer. Fran, I want to kiss you. But she can't be my mother. She's dead. You have to come closer. Now, if you don't want the big monster, we'll come and get you. No, you're not my mommy. Leave me alone. My darling, the big monster will come and get you. He will come and get you. He will come and catch you! Mommy, you're scaring me, Mommy. P stop it, please! Oh, it's broken. Can I get the friend? Hold Nope. Oh. Okay. Hello? Huh. Everything's closed. change the oh hello miss I'm wondering if you have some thread for fishing line do you fishing line thread yes yes I have some do you want it Ah, yes, please. How much is it? Well, quite a lot. Is that good? I mean, price-wise, miss. I only need enough for a fishing line. Oh, I forgot to think about the price. You see, I've never sold anything before. Well, you know what? You can have it. I hope it makes you happy. Great. Wonderful. Oh, well, thank you, miss. I hope you come with some prices and sell something soon. Bye. We're gonna combine. Okay. Ah, uh, hold on. I 
no, that is kind of sad. Okay. Nothing. This is all clear. Do I need something else? Yeah, well... Yeah, yeah. I knew I was missing something. Okay, hold on, hold on. I know this is a thing as well. I'm getting lemon. Yeah, then he's gonna like walk off with them. Okay, a different season. Cut his... Kitty, I'm gonna do something so act natural. Yeah. Cut, cut the... the thing. <laughs> okay, now we go back to... this time. No, this time. Great, wonderful. Move. Yes, I know. I know. Move out of the way so I can get the lemon. Great, cool. I have the lemon now. This is a process. <laughs> I have played the game before, <laughs> just so you know. It, you, you can kind of tell that I have. Where's the hole? Okay. There was a hole. Um, awesome. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Hello, sir. I don't have a ticket. How can I get one? What? All of the thirsty citizens get a ticket. Why do you have yours? Oh, I'm not a citizen, sir. So maybe that's why. Not a citizen? That's a new one. Too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady. I can't let you in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I remember. Use and combine. Nope, hold on. It's still the same thing? Hold on. Do I need to go through the whole entire thing again? Okay. I'm doing too many things at once. I'm trying to get all of the, you know, everything done. Let's go. You ready for my wizard voice? <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh, are you the great wizard, sir? Sorry, sir. I'm Fran and I need your help. Is this Mount Cochran? Excuse me, can you talk? You have many questions. That's good. Oh, sorry sir, the king said you could help me. What the king says we do. <laughs> mm-hmm. I need you to lend me the stones to open the door to my world. The stones are missing, and I don't remember where they are. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget. So they can't be found. 
Oh, I see. But maybe I can help you find them. I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How is this the great question of them all? Because if nothing exists, then the nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, then there's no nothing. I ask again, how? So, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the great wizard? That means me, just so you know. Good day, sir. The king sent me here for, for the stones. The stones? Ah, it's been a long time since somebody came around asking for them. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. You know, the black shadows, the Kamalas, they try to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. But sir, I need the stones. This isn't my home. Hmm, the stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only when all the four riddles are answered correctly will I be able to tell you where to find five items. These items are the stones in the layered reality. Then the only one who can bring them back is me. I see. Well, tell me the riddles. There's no time to lose. Let me show you. Oh, gosh. This is the Star of Easter. Oh, Becca. <laughs> The greatest guide of the sky. <laughs> the greatest caretaker of this land. Hmm, and what do I have to do, sir? Well, what are the riddles? I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Place the items on the star poster on their respective symbols. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. Okay. <clears throat> I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'm shiny as the sun, but I never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile I'll get you. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Light and hollow, and the freedom of birds and the pen of men. Oh, thank you very much, Sir Wizard. Oh, Sir Wizard, the king told me that you can make me human again. Did he? Hmm, I think that's true. I can barely remember how to do it, though. You don't remember? But I can't go home as a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try to make you hu human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes, incredible, Lynn. Great. Just try to figure out the riddles and I will guess everything will be fine. Sir, do you need something special to become human? Hmm, I think the smell is very important, if I remember correctly. So bring me your clothes and we'll see how it goes. 
Alright, sir. I'll bring you my clothes later. Well, actually... Ho ho! Oh, smelly clothes! I can't make you human yet. We have to find the first stone. I know. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have lemon, though. Okay, fine. I have to find them all. I get it. I know one is a lemon. One is a fish. One is a feather. Hi. Oh, kitty. Did you see that? Did you? Yes, my dear. I saw it. What was it? Huh? I think it was the, sh the, sh the shadow? Oh dear, I don't want to see them again. Again? Oh, match, yes. Yes, kitty. They were all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. I'll go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise that whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Of course, my dear. I promise. Great, now we have to keep going. Which is the one where he lies. It's one of them. Okay. He looked really bad, Kitty. Wasn't that the doctor? Maybe he c can kill himself. I hope so, Kitty. He was so hurt that he lost a feather. I wonder what happened. Feather! Right. I just need a hook. I think. I think I just need a hook. I haven't gone to the library yet. Oh, I forgot that there was a freaking password. Which section is next? The market? I thought I was done with the market. Do I need the dung? in winter no uh I'm just being dead sir look I found a fishing rod but it's broken can you help let me see the thing is missing I see the hook that goes with this rod huh you just said the exact same thing as someone else back in the hospital. Yeah, but he's not the nurse. 
Really? Who? What hospital? The Oswald Asylum, sir. The nurse when I broke the curtain. Yeah, I know. I, I remember. Make a hook. <laughs> we're getting we're getting somewhere. Also this is a cute picture. <laughs> Fish Okay, do I have everything? Match Lemon Fish Feather. Back we go. The wizard will not be prepared. them in order. No. What if I do this? Oh, I, f I remember. Smell delicious victory. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. <laughs> yes. We'll start with the fire. Coltrim has awakened. Coltrim is alive. On the top of the mountain, he'll be waiting for you. He has my lovely wizard hat. Bring it to me. Ah, your hat. <laughs> yes, the stones are hiding in my wizard's tools. That's why I can't remember a thing. <laughs> now I'm remembering. Go to the top of, mountain, of the mountain and find Kodrum. And come back when you have the hat. Then we can do the other things. 
All right, sir, I'll bring you your hat. Whenever, when I first saw this hat, I thought, what is the sorting hat doing on top of a rock? And then I saw the stones, and then I was just like, why is... I forget what the stones are called in Marvel. The Infinity Stones. Instead of it being in, like, a gauntlet, it's in a hat. Who dares to wake me? Who? Oh, my goodness, you're alive. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. I'm Fran. Fran? I see. I don't know what that means. Well, I don't really know what it means. It's just my name. Oh, all right. My name is Cotram. Do you want to know why? I don't know. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> that is one, like, infinity hat. Y you could destroy the universe with this hat. Sure, tell me. Kotrim means born in heaven. I used to be a star. Yeah, he is Thanos. <laughs> and I, because I was born in space, is very logical. I am going to use my crystal hat to bring about a new world. <laughs> there will only be rocks left, no trees. <laughs> Oh wow, I've never met a star in person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Fran. So what brings you here? I need that hat, sir. The hat above your head. Hmm, I can't do that. I'm divorced. Thank you. The amount of speaking I have done and I've only like taken two drinks and it's like almost an hour and a half in. We're gonna try and finish the game if we can, but if not, it's fine. We can have another stream. I wanted to get this out of the way so then we could go on to Little Misfortune, which I haven't played yet. But I also have uh, my watering, uh, my watercolor streams I'm gonna do, like usual, so. Okay, well. Stay as long as you like. I can't. If I give you the hat, my entire land will suffer. You'll have to find another way to get home. The king told me that there's no other way. Please help me. I told you, I can't. My wife left me. She's the one covering my top. You know what that means? <laughs> Sorry, that's me being dirty minded. His magma would explode. Mm hmm. Are we sure? It's, uh, it's rag red magma. Are we sure? <laughs> Him. 
where is your wife now? Maybe I can get her to come back. She decided it was time for her to start her own island. So she broke up with me. See, the thing is, she's in the water. So, you know, she's already wet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop now. My beloved wife. I need you again. <laughs> I was gonna do it again. <laughs> Only if she comes back. Otherwise, you know what could happen. My magma will sp- <laughs> This has gone off topic. No, I like this hat. All right, I'll be back. All right, we're off to the thing in my bob. Hi. I know you're all alone. Let me be your mummy and let me feed you. The flower? Come to my side. And you'll have many new friends to play with. I don't want you as my mummy. You look very scary and I don't like you. Fran? Who are you talking to? Huh? The woman standing, uh, is nothing, kitty. Like, literally where I am. Oh, shit! <laughs> Okay, hold on. Cut it! Cool. Boat, boat, boat. Boat time! Hi. I have a flower for you. Fine, we'll have a conversation first. Hello, miss. Wake up, I have a message for you. Oh, hello, a messenger. What a good day. Yes, miss, I'm the messenger of love. Love? Oh, but you're not pink. Pink? No, I'm the brown and green love messenger. Does that mean poop and envy? Hmm. And does the messenger of love have something to share? Yes, of course. I'm here in the name of love to bring you back to your husband. No. He made me very sad. Nobody has the right to make me sad. I understand. But what he did to you... He was so hot and I fell in love with that, but lately he's been so cold and boring, so I felt neglected. I cried so many times. He used to grow a beautiful red flower just for me to show his love for me, but this year nothing came up, and you know what? I'm the one protecting him all the time, so I want some credit for that, that's all. But miss, if I find that flower for you, would you come back? I guess, but I have no hope. Besides, I'm the ruler of my own island now. I'll go see if I can find the red flower. Do you know where it grows? Always at the bottom. It's very difficult for all the other flowers. The bottom of what? My husband's bottom, of course. Bring it to me and I shall return to it. Well, it looks like it's your lucky day, ma'am. Miss, I found it. Look, look, the red flower. Oh, thank you so much. It looks so beautiful. You are indeed a great messenger of love. Thank you, miss. We should go back to your husband right away. He really misses you. I'll see you there in winter time. The little feet!
It's very nice to see you two, two together. Now I w would like to have that hat, please. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Come on, my darling. Climb up on top. I'm sorry, but this just... It's cute, but it's, al it's also very suggestive. And I just... I can't. <laughs> it's such a happy moment. <laughs> and here, the hat. Thank you again. It is also creepy, but every illustration in this game is creepy and just weird. Wow, thank you, sir. I have to go give the hat to the great wizard now. Bye. Back down we go to the next mission. Oh, <coughs> This guy kills my voice every single time I do him. Did you find the hat? It should be on top of Cauldron. I have the hat. Here. Here's your hat, sir. Oh, my hat. I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. I feel happy. That's great, sir. What's next? The gift from the soil. The fruit. Great wonderful the creation of selective random elements so we can eat beautiful isn't it yes it's incredible yes the fruit is talking to me it says that the book my book of knowledge is in the library but beware the book may be hiding so you must be persistent and patient good sir i'll go to the library then wait there's a password. You need to get inside. Let me think. Think. It must be something about how we learn or... Hmm. Ah! I remember. The password is... Your basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. Oh, I'll try to remember that. What does it mean? This means that we often let our understand our understandings be manipulated. We should overturn use our common sense. All I have is common sense. Nobody should ever tell you what to think or believe. Be hungry for knowledge and you'll find yourself con in constant evolution. This will let you be free to cherish every second of your life. Oh, I think it's very fun to think and learn and being curious helps a lot too i'll be going to the library now to find your book off we go to the library Hi. Do you remember, Fran? You are a murderer. You are a naughty little girl. Naughty girls must be punished. It's me. Do as I say. Do as I do, Fran. Jump. I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. Oh, my dear. Don't listen to those evil things. You're strong. Let them out of your head, my dear. Am I crazy, kitty? Tell me. No, my dear. You just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, my kitty. I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear, I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. I love you too, my dear. We should keep going. Let's go to the library. In we go. Stop right there. I know the password. 
Your eyes and ears are limited senses should the number fall in. Because only then we can really see, like, it's like the city, it was invincible to me before. Knowledge is everywhere, everywhere is darkness and silence. You can come inside, have fun. The library! But what if I did? Oh, thank you. It was nice meeting you too. I I hope you've enjoyed the weird fantastic time of Franbo and also me <laughs> in the process. And if you ever want to come back, I'd be happy to have you back. Oh, I, I don't like this part. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong thing. Okay. Reading time. Okay. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. July 11th, 1908. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I was never fond of jewelry, houses or clothing since childhood. I always talked to animals, plants and insects and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers. Maybe you can see things others can't. Or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Can you see? Cry because it hurts. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness, for the, from the fifth realm, from the fifth reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. January 13th, 1875. I can see myself around. The others tell me, tell me lies, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me want, wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. 
and I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there is always something that's saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. January 15th, 1876. I meet a shadow for the first time. It talked to me. Their race is called the Kamalas. They're, they hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies and it said, We are born and fe feed from fear and the uncontrolled inner illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water might purify them. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transformed into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metaphor of this was a painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suf suffering. I must go where I belong. Ursta awaits all Volkers. Must go there after waking up. If you wish to see me, the light come with me. You have the key, it said. It didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recalled three more from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ista may not be a city in this world, but a reality itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that it didn't accept the Volkus invitation. Since I saw the Volkus, I'm, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I got a visit from my son Brian. I told him about the things I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him, I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I just wish I could find a friend just like me, because my son, he thinks I'm crazy, not insane. My body and my mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all societal laws and you only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws, but also behaviours, chemical behaviours, natural laws. Without those behaviours, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognised. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviours in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells but at very high speeds. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Being an Ista of varied from roots to giant insects, roots are the first thing first in this reality. 
Insects came later. I learned the language and numerology. This is what I need. And then the focus. And this and that. Mabuka. What the Mabuka. Oh, 
I forget how long this chapter is. The first two chapters are so quick, and then this chapter is probably the one of the longest. Did you find the book already? You have to look in the library. Yeah. So here's your book. It was inside the music box. I saw the doll. <laughs> the Edward Lock. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. This certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. Now what? There are two things left of the stuff. Yes, fish in the water. Urgh. Fish, fish, swim free. Go back, little fishy. Go back home. Marcia, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remember how to do it. Isn't that beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do that with the other being, like humans? Of course, but only this if the circumstances are positive. But the circumstances are often not positive. I see, sir. Hmm, we need to find the missing stones, yes? The fish told me that my shoes are on the amazing dancer's feet. Do you know where the dancer could be? Yeah? Off we go! Magic boy. Oi, dear, here I go. We have to go. Okay. 
I do it now? Look, sir, this is my own ticket. Yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. Very clever, la little lady. Well, I guess I can let you go in. Enjoy the show. Thank you, sir. Well, oopsie doopsie. Hello, dancer, mister. I really need your shoes. I'm a dancer and I need them uh, to dance with the wizard. I want your shoes. You want a, le a little lemonade? Uh, no. I don't want any lemonade. Sir, so, let me explain. I need your shoes. But if you raise your feet, I could take them. Enjoying the show? Yes, very much. But I need the dancer's shoes. She liked to dance. She's a very good dancer. She's the very best dancer in the world. You ever change it? Now we're talking about Antonio. Oh, so he was real. I saw him in the human world. He's very old now. Really? Wow, the human world. Well, you know, when we grow older, we go to those other realities to see if we've missed anything. Oh, that's why he's sad. Oh, it's quite fun. I get, love to get letters from my mother. She tells me many things.
the shoes, quit. There <laughs> we go. Off we go. Have you found the dancer's shoes yet? Sir, sir, I have the shoes. They look they're very pretty. Look. Wow, you did it! You really have an extraordinary machine in your head. Thank you, sir. Now let's do the last one so I can go home. The last one? Yeah! Ooh, I recognize this feather. It belongs to Baldronis. Yes, I saw him badly injured. Mm, he'll be fine. He has the pink water. That fixes everything. Yes, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? Hehe! <laughs> Go visit the old Varkas mechanical tome. My wand will be there. I have to finish my rabbit science. I think I have the answer. Okay. To the wand. your wand. Oh, magnificent! Splendid! You did it! Really? But where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones. These stones are very special. What I can do is place the stones on the lock of the door, but you, you are the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king said he would show me where the door is. Ah! Then we should go and talk with him, don't you think? Hmm, wait, I suspect that you can't return home looking like a tree. Oh, I almost forgot. Yes, you're right. Can you bring my human body back? Yes, I can. This is exciting. I haven't done this in hundreds of years. Let's make a human, yes? Give me your clothes. I need to smell it. Here, my clothes, sir. Hmm, let me smell this. This can work. We'll make a human. Oh, this. Oh, this is exciting. Good. Now, go to the center of the star of Ishta. And think about your body. Your head, your leg. And other leg and your arm, both of them, now concentrate. Randomly selected elements find the path to your true essence. Become Fran a human now. Ugh. Huh? Are you all right? 
what happened. Is it done? Oh, wow. Thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. <coughs> ah, yes. Yes, that's my name. Great wizard because of the greatness. Thank you again, sir. This is really grand. See you soon. My darling friend, you're human again. Welcome back. Thank you, Kitty. It feels great. Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. What are you? What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. We kill traitors. Because that's what he is, Fran, don't you see? Kitty is not a traitor. He promised to stay by my side. He promised. I am as your mummy and daddy did. He promised to take good care of you. Wake up, Fran. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the one who's always by your side. Now let's get rid of this traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. Go away, go away, it wasn't me. Fran? What's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you become human again. This is very good indeed. My, my dear, my dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want, 
I don't want to hurt you, my dear, and I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that because you love me. Yes, Kitty, I do very much. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find power to fight the monsters inside you. Here we are. Yes, but where's the door? Oh, right. I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure so. Alright, here we go. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Oh, oh we're going home, kitty. Oh, sir, the king. Good day to you. I brought the stone so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It'll be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Was it? She has to leave. I received a message from one of the Volkas. And she isn't ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? You know what the Volkas told you about facing your truth. Ah, yes, I think I remember now. Well, I... should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones, create the lock that only the human can break. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You only... You're the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow, alright, let's see. I smell victory again. You did 
excited, Fran. You can go home now. I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave something for you to remember. We won't forget you. You're a very special creature. I almost forgot. What's wrong with this game with this for you? Oh, thank you. Tell Patronus that I wish I could help with Mother's wounds. I gave him my aid patches to a girl in the hospital, but anyway, I'll tell him, don't worry. Patronus is better now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Before you go, you have to know. Before you turn to reality, your past or a secret to a secret woods. The woods are kind of, a, of an invisible passage between our realities. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you up. But just run. They're quite slow. And you're telling me this now. Huh? That sounds very scary. Don't worry. You'll do fine. Well, I hope so. Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I, I like you very much. Goodbye. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out what we are. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one that we tried to cross before we fell into Ursta? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Oh, save. Well, I have literally only managed to do uh, one more chapter and I'm already tired. <laughs> oh my God, Frambo. Oh gosh, it just tires me out. There's so much, so much game. Oh dear. We'll get there. <laughs> We're getting there, slowly. But I think, I think um, that's enough for me today. <laughs> so, we'll end the stream. So, I hope everyone enjoyed the stream today. I hope you'll come back and enjoy the rest of Frambo. And I hope you'll also come and watch uh, the March watercolour streams that I do have coming up. Um, I will probably do one of the watercolour streams very soon. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. And I hope you've all had a good time. Tell me what you think of all everything that I'm doing recently. Any comments or anything like that would be great. 
And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll end it there. So stay squishy, stay fresh, and I'll see you guys another time. <laughs>